Yo guys, what's up? It's Crips, and welcome to another Desi 2 fashion video. So today I'm actually explaining something that just came up in the new TWAB, and this is about the armor synthesis coming next season, or some of you may know it as Transmog. So we're gonna be going over right now the armor synthesis and guardian appearance section in the new TWAB. I'll leave it in the top of the description. But anyways, if you don't know what's happening, basically Ada One will be returning to the tower, and she'll be the main vendor for this armor synthesis. Now basically the reason why this uh, transmog is so important is basically what it allows you to do is take the appearance of a legendary or anything lower down to a, a common and put that appearance on your legendary pieces which means you could pretty much use any armor you've already unlocked in your collections so you can just look a lot better in game. So they are introducing a new, uh, a new currency called synth strands and you get these by defeating enemies and then once you earn enough synth strands which in this case will be 150, you'll be able to spend it on a bounty to earn a synth cord. And then once you have a synth cord, this can be converted to a synth weave at the loom in the tower. So obviously the loom's probably gonna be a new interactable. Now they haven't yet detailed if it's gonna cost anything to convert from synth cords into synth weaves. And then obviously once you have a synth weave, you can convert any unlocked armor piece in your collections, legendary quality or lower, into a universal ornament to use on legendary armor. So as it says here, um, after earning 150 synth strand, you may visit Ada One in the tower to acquire class specific bounty, which rewards a synth cord. So what they've done is made it so that getting synth cord you can do it across any activity. They're going to give us categorized uh, bounties to pick from. So these range from Vanguard, Crucible, Gambit, Destinations, or Raids and Dungeons. And they've given us here a few examples as to what we can see. So for Vanguard, our bounty could be to do playlist strikes using specific subclass and accumulate points in nightfalls. The Crucible is capture zones in control and complete matches and defeat opponents using a specific damage type. For Gambit, it is send and defeat blockers and defeat primeval envoys and high value targets. For destinations, it is to defeat nightmares on any destination or nightmare hunt and defeat bosses while in the blind well. And then the last one here is raids and dungeons, complete the final encounter of any raid or dungeon and generate orbs of power in raids or dungeons. Now it says here if you do pick up the wrong bounty and dismantle it, you will not receive the full amount of synth strands back. So you know you want to just be careful when you're picking them up. Now here is an early look at the armor synthesis tab. Now as you can see here there's a bunch of zeros and a 56. I'm guessing this is where we're going to see our like synth strand and synth weave currencies. Um, but they did say this is not final, so there could be a few differences when the actual system comes into the game next season. So as you can see here, all our shaders and armor are going to be in separate tabs. We simply just select our armor, select our shader, and obviously here we're seeing what the name of the armor we're using is. So it says here, uh, how many of these can we earn? So there is going to be a restriction to how much we can earn per season. So it says here, players may earn up to 10 synth weave per season. It says here players may earn up to 10 synth weave per class per season. So as there are three classes in the game, we'll be able to have 30 synth weave per season. Now this means we'll be able to convert 30 pieces into universal ornaments. But for the celebration of this new system coming in next season, but it does say to celebrate the introduction of armor synthesis next season, we will be able to earn 10 additional per class. So that means we'll be able to earn a total of 60 synth weave to convert collection armor into universal ornaments. Now it does also state here that universal ornaments will not be allowed to be applied to exotic armor pieces, as you can see, and they'll maintain their appearances so players can identify and understand what exotic perks they are using. So here is another close look at the system here. So we select the helmet and up comes the shader and the obviously the armor ornament that we want to select and we can see the white screens and blues they're all locked obviously when we apply synth weaves we'll be able to unlock them and use them now they does say here that there will be armor that is not going to be able to be converted into an ornament yet due to technical restraints they did say here that they're currently working on solutions for future seasons now the armor they're talking about is the year one armor ornaments for Vanguard, Crucible, Iron Banner, Faction Rally, Prestige Raids and Trials and Nine. So unfortunately I was looking forward to converting my old Iron Banner and Crucible armor but we will have to wait for a future season for them to be able to fix this. But it does say here ornaments can still be applied if the base armor piece from an activity that the ornament originates. So if you don't understand what this means, um, basically as you can see here 
I have an Iron Banner cloak that I got this season, but because it's Iron Banner, I can apply any of my old ornaments, even from year one, to the piece. So unfortunately, for now, if you do want to use any of these ornaments here, you're sadly going to have to wear the armor that ties to it to be able to apply the ornament. Now it also says here that all base appearances from the 2018 and 2019 Sources of Heroes events will be available for armor synthesis. However, due to an issue where 2018 and 2019 glows cannot be socketed alongside armor appearances, the glow will not be supported. Uh, this is very, very unfortunate as I was looking to use the glow armor for 2018, but it does say that the Sources 2020 armor will support this so you can use the white glow and obviously the subclass based glows as well. And then it says here um, how we will be able to purchase Synthweave for silver. So they're calling these templates to separate them from Synthweave. So one Synthweave will cost us 300 silver and then five will cost us a thousand. You will save 500 if you do purchase these as a bundle rather than buying five on its own. To avoid mistaken purchases, Synthweave templates from Eververse can be applied to any class. Um, the reason why they're saying this is because the synth weave you earn on that character can only be used on that character's armor. For example, say if you earn a synth weave from a bounty on a hunter, you will only be able to unlock hunter armor with it because these are class specific bounties. So the Eververse ones you can just use on anything really. And then as for shaders, they're just going to talk about the quick change to shaders. So starting next season, all the unlocked shaders will be visible on the Guardian appearance screen. All you need to do now is to apply a shader, it's just pay 500 glimmer. And they've also added a feature to apply the shader to all the armor at once, obviously costing 2,500. But this is really good as they've taken away the legendary shards requirement, which is something that really bugged me. Now it says here shaders will continue to be earned through various activities in Destiny 2. All can be purchased using Bright Dust or Silver from Eververse. With the update to shaders, we'll be increasing their cost from 40 Bright Dust to 300. This is quite a drastic change and this will continue to be a one-time purchase and will appear in the Guardian Appearance menu when unlocked. In celebration of armor synthesis, a year one Eververse shader bundle will be available in the Eververse for Glimmer, no silver required. And that's pretty much all it is for the TWAB. Now I was hoping that Simple Weaver would be a bit cheaper. Um, the fact that we're getting 30 you know, per season I think is alright, um, it's not too bad at all. And especially the fact that we're getting 60 from next season, um, there's going to be so much we can do with it. Uh, the only thing that's really got me guided is that the fact that I can't convert my year 1 armor ornaments, which was one of the like main things I wanted to convert, was my old iron banner, trials and nine, and the crucible ornaments. Those are the main ones I was looking to convert, so to hear that I can't do that right now, um, it's quite sad to see. But anyway guys, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Um, I'd love to hear what you all think of this or anything that you would like to change about what they've like said here. And yeah guys, thank you all so so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next video.